Rio Ferdinand blasts Manchester United after their defeat by Wolves. Rio Ferdinand has laid into Manchester United interim head coach Ralph Rangnick and his players after their uninspiring defeat by Wolves on Monday evening. United lost for the first time under Rangnick as Bruno Lage's side deservedly came away with victory at Old Trafford. It follows on from a series of unconvincing displays, including a 1-0 win at Norwich, courtesy of a penalty and a 1-1 draw at Newcastle, that was secured with a late equaliser. Plenty of criticism has been levelled at United in the wake of the defeat, which leaves them four points behind Arsenal in fourth place, with a game in hand. And Ferdinand has added to that, suggesting that there is still so much for Rangnick to improve on since he took over from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in November. As well as Rangnick, the former Red Devils captain also targeted a number of first-team players for the lack of impact they have had this season. Among them were England Euro 2020 trio Marcus Rashford, Jadon Sancho and Harry Maguire, as well as Edinson Cavani and Aaron Juan Bissaka. I think that's a big part of our problem, we don't control enough of the games, and that's down to individuals, but also the shape of the team he said on the latest Five podcast. I think there's so much to improve on, there's individuals, but also the team shape as at the moment it doesn't seem to be suiting certain players. Certain players aren't showing what they're about. We haven't yet seen the Sancho of Dortmund, Rashford looks like a shadow of his former self, Cavani isn't firing really, Juan Bissaka is shot of confidence, Maguire is lacking confidence at the moment. I'm waiting for the players individually to be built up, and that's one of the big key points. I thought that was going to be a real jolt and a real jump and a real shift when this new manager came in. Yes, he needs time, but again after the first game I haven't seen a real shift in that confidence and those performances from individuals to elevate us as a team, and that's what we need to see. Maguire has had to develop the broadest of shoulders this season, with the centre-back coming in for regular criticism, and often pointed to as the weak link in the United team, although he did not play against Wolves. Instead, Phil Jones stepped into the breach, making his first appearance for the club in two years. And Ferdinand did reserve some praise for his former teammate, as he hailed his performance as class, despite the loss. For someone to come in from the cold like that, you have to tip your hat to someone like that he added. I'm just pleased he got through the game unscathed, no injuries. He put in a decent performance after such a long time out, not easy to do. So you've got to tilt your hat to Phil Jones. He's come in for a lot of stick, a lot of my words have been misinterpreted a little bit. December 5 Man United 1-0 Crystal Palace December 8 Man United 1-1 Young Boys, CL, December 11 Norwich 0-1 Man United December 27, Newcastle 1-1 Man United December 30, Man United 3-1 Burnley, Jan 3 Man United 0-1 Wolves but you've got to say, well done, in terms of the amount of time he's been off the pitch to come in and play in the Premier League and play at the standard he did today. Albeit, his header was the one that fell to Matinho's foot before he scored, but I thought he was class for long periods in the game. Ferdinand was not the only former United star fretting after the performance. Gary Neville took to Twitter to voice his concerns over their latest showing. He delivered a simple six-word assessment on Twitter during the match. It's not good. It really isn't. Former United teammate Paul Scholes needed even fewer words as he wrote. F joke in a post on his Instagram story which has since been deleted. The pair aren't the only two former players to express concern over the direction of the club under the German technician. Discussing United's season so far in an interview with Alan Shearer before United's loss to Wolves, Wayne Rooney told The Athletic. I've been to a few games, taken my kids. Obviously it's been difficult for them. I was at his first game against Crystal Palace and I thought they looked very good. My only concern with that shape was that when you come up against better teams Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal you could get punished.